What's up everybody? This is Geoff here with Geoff's Records Reviews and today I will be reviewing John Jarvis. So far, so good. This is a promo copy and an audio file copy. Let me put that here. Uh, custom pressed on KC569 Blend Premium Version Vinyls in Burbank, California, which is what it says right there on that stamp. It's also a promotional copy. I don't know if that's in front of the camera or not, but whatever. Um, some important notes on this. There are no vocals. It's all instrumentals. Um, it sounds really clear. Like, really clear. Um, <laughs> there's no... There's, it, it's really nice. Like, I wouldn't change anything about the mix. Um, but here's some notes. Let's see here. Musicians, guitarist, Ray Kennedy, bass on Long Awaited, Never Delivered. Michael Rhodes, uh, percussion is Tom Rohde, extra synthesizer programming on A Month of Seasons, which is on the first side, is by Mike Lower. Um, solo acoustic piano recorded digitally at the Castle Franklin, Tennessee by Steve Tillish. Extra piano recorded at Soundstage Studios Nashville by Lee Groitz. All drum programs done on Lin 9000. Not real drums. You can kind of tell. Um, mastered by Glenn Meadows at Master Phonics using the JVC Digital Audio Mastering System. So it says here, songs recorded direct to JVC Digital VP900. Some Kind of Sunrise, Audrey, framed in a still picture, Amber, and Homecoming. Nice. Song mixed to JVC Digital VP900. Best of both worlds, Scrumpy Cider. Song mixed to Sony PCM. 701 ES, then digitally transferred through JVC BP900. It's a month of seasons, can't turn my heart away, long awaited, never delivered on Blue Moon of Kentucky. It's dedicated to his mom and dad. And, uh, you know, there's not really much that pops out to me on this album. It honestly sounds like shopping music, really. It's sort of a, it's a nice piece to add to the collection if you just want background music to work with. If you want background music just in your office, if you like to play vinyl in your office. Honestly, I really like the vinyl version because everything's spaced out. It's really nice. It's not too compressed. The record here. Let me get this out. It's part of the MCA Master Series. Let me see if I can flip this around for you guys here. MCA Master Series. And, uh, very nice quality vinyl. It's clean. It's got a few scuffs to it. But, uh, it didn't really affect playability all that much. I mean, there was some noise, but it adds character. But all in all, I'd give this album a 4 out of 5 just because of how well mixed it is. How even it is. What year did this come out? 1986. Um, and they were messing with digital. And so, uh... If you find it, give it a listen. Give it a listen. It'd be nice to play around, you know, your children. If they're, they need school study music or something like that, it's not too distracting. The mix is really nice. How many times can I say that? Four out of five. If you find it, if you find the audio file version, get the audio file version. I bought that for five bucks at a local record store. Confusion Records. Uh, dude's name is John who owns it. Shout out there. But anyway, So Far So Good by John Jarvis. If you find it, don't shell out too much money for it. But it's an interesting listen. Interesting listen. All right, y'all. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned for more. And be blessed.